Welcome back. You're watching the Late Night News. Days after the Bar Council of India introduced a mandatory All India Bar examination before they could begin practice as a Bar Council members, the law students have raised a stink over this issue. They ask why one more exam when the Bar Council supervises their course. Minal Shah reports. Come December, law graduates will have to go through a screen test before they start practicing law. The Bar Council of India has introduced an open book multiple choice exam for the fresh graduates that will be held on 5th of December. For the 60,000 odd law graduates in the country who pass out every year, this has raised a concern. Their argument, what is the purpose of the degree exam if they are to write another exam anyway? When they themselves are supervising the course, so why should they test their own exam? Why should they test their own degree? If you have a lot of life, you can't get Suppose you have a fail item, you can't get it. 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 The Bar Council of India clarifies that the quality of education has been improving, but the law colleges are deterring the growth of students. And hence, this mandatory uniform examination is a help to them. As far as legal education is concerned, all that they require is a good teaching staff, number one, good library and good infrastructure building. Only these three things are necessary. Even these things, some colleges are not able to bring out, you know. And we all thought that the Bar Council of India controlled the universities, colleges, examinations and the syllabus. Now here's the critical question. Does the Bar Council think that the Bar Exam is a perfect foil for all the inadequacies in the legal education system? The compulsory apprenticeship rule was introduced in 1996-97 and was later struck down by the Supreme Court. We'll have to wait and watch if history repeats itself. And this initiative too meets the same fate at the courts. In Chennai, Minal Shah, NDTV Hindu. Now in what is aimed at becoming the talent pool for future Olympians, a private sports academy has begun training a group of poor children to bring out the sports talent in them. And our correspondent P. Mohammed has found out that the trainees are all either homeless or children living in slums in bad conditions. This boy is poor and he's homeless. He lives in a roadside shed with his mother. But his dream is big. He wants to become a national football player. The chances are strong after a sports academy started training him under a special initiative. Chin Raj is one of 97 children selected for training by Disha Sports Academy run by Mafua Foundation. 90% of the trainees are homeless or live in slums. Some of them have single parent and they are poor. We take them young in uh, categories like under 12 and under 14 and uh, we start we have and I think another important highlight is we thought we should really give them good coaches I think most of the times I really feel academies fail because the coaching has not the intention may be there but we also need to really look at the processes the young trainees are very ambitious they want to take part in big international sports events <laughs> Inspiring that kind of confidence is probably the toughest part of the training. In Chennai with Pir Mohammed, Jason Toj for NDTV Hindu. Well, Chennai today saw a day of various green activities spread across the city, marking the World Environment Day. People of Chennai turned up in huge numbers to spread the message about the importance of a green earth. Our reporter Kuku Alex gives us a roundup of the various events in the city. Chennai marked World Environment Day with a walkathon organized by the Confederation of Indian Industries. About 200 people marched along the Marina Beach front. Chennai's police commissioner T. Rajendran unveiled the walk. And I think we have caused enough damage to nature. We are seeing the ill effects, uh, the erratic weather, unseasonal rains, terrible floods and what not and all. I think we should wake up and maybe on a day like this symbolically make a resolution to protect the biodiversity. Not far away, school students staged a walk in support of what they call a green earth. Mylapur legislator S. V. Shekhar led the walk organized by CPR Environmental Education Center and FM broadcaster Radio City. The World Environment Day came in as the best time for the launch of the Asian Journal on Environment and Disaster Management. It is aimed at cutting the impact of natural and man-made disasters. 
The initiative is backed by a coalition of 15 Asian universities. So the journal ultimate aim is to go towards the disaster risk reduction, achievements in disaster risk reduction. Another FM broadcaster, Chennai Live, set up a green heritage walk from Besanaga Beach to the Theosophical Society. Walkers distributed saplings and raised slogans that urged the public to turn the earth green. In Chennai, Kuku Alex for NDTV Hindu. Well, time to slip into a short break, but up next, why are people in Chennai thinking twice before they want to get their clothes dry clean? Find out after the short break.